Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I'm just finishing up cooking too. My I'm flipping my ribs around so they don't burn on me. What kind of ribs? Pork. All right now. Okay, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I'm trying to cut back on the pork. I'm maybe twice a month now, three times a month. Uh -huh. um, well, but, let's see. Are we live yet? All right, we're live now. Let's see. Good afternoon, everyone, and hello, and welcome to uh, Jennifer's Perspective. And I have a very special guest this evening, Mr. Johnny Miller. Mr. Johnny Miller, where well, are you at, Johnny? In California? Yes, I'm um, from Sacramento, Sacramento, California, but I reside um, living in Woodland, California, about 15 minutes out of Sacramento, California. All right, all right. Now, Johnny is an up and coming rapper and he has like an amazing album. I was listening to it. I'm like, all right, this is his truth. This is his story. He grew up in a gated uh, neighborhood which used to be named Franklin Villa at G Parkway Mob. And Johnny grew up just another soul making his way in life. Johnny has overcome many, many bumps and challenges in life from being incarcerated at a young age to being charged at the age of 16 as an adult doing time in California with the youth authority, being in prison at the age of 19. Now, Johnny was a father at a young age and he is now a husband and father of six kids. Life, huh? Life is crazy yeah. trying to balance his career and family. And Johnny has his own label and it's off the dribble music group. So he's in control of his own journey. Off the dribble stands for no hesitation in life, no matter what. And also never hog the ball. Make sure that your whole time is equal. Check out his new album, Pressure applied it dropped i guess yesterday and i dropped i put the link on my facebook page it's also on twitter and linkedin and it's also on instagram and it's at https semicolon forward slash forward slash soundhound dot app dot g o o dot g l forward slash nine G N P M two E capital Q W capital K M 14 capital F capital J capital U lowercase U nine. All righty. Okie dokie. Just, just click on the link. Okay. And Johnny, just uh, give me, and just tell me a little bit about yourself and how did you start rapping? Um, well, I go by the, my artist name is J Mills to shoot. J Mills? J Mills, um, stand for my, J Mills is my government name. Um, mm -hmm. the, the shooter, I just nickname coming up in the streets that was given to me. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't start rapping until 2010 in my incarceration when I was in the Hatchapi California State Prison. Mm -hmm. um, I was in a shoe program and just reminiscing about my life and the things I've been through and some of my favorite artists. And I was like, man, they're talking about the same thing that I'm going through, the thing that I lived. Mm -hmm. And it was like, why can't I do the same thing? Mm -hmm. So I just started writing a cappella with no beats. Um, my first song I wrote was called Slums, um, mm -hmm. 70, 72 bars straight, no hook. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I've just been chasing it ever since. Um, I've just been paving my own way, creating my own wave, trying to stay out of the gang politics, the politics of music, and mm -hmm. just own all my masters, my music, my recordings, my label, my vision, my me as an image, and 
I'm just paving a way for me and my brothers. Uh, Mob Squad stands for that's the group, my other blood brothers squad. Awesome, um, awesome. Now, I see that in the video, it's you and your crew, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Part, so, of, part of it, everyone wasn't there. It, it still was two guys missing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that those are part of the crew there. Now, what you doing? What you doing there? I'm, my ribs were burning. I have to push them back. <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, now, and you cook. You rap. You you rap. You sing. You cook. You have six children, and you own your own music company. You own your own masters, and right now you're promoting your music. Now, yes. tell me, tell me. Tell me about some of these songs. Like, let me just pull pull up the information here. Mm -hmm. Because you have, let me see something. There's a meaning behind every song that you write. And I'm sitting here and you you, you mentioned your brothers. Tell me about them. Um, okay, so I have one brother, his name is Gas Grader. Um, mm -hmm. I met him in prison, mm -hmm. um, in New Folsom State Prison Level 4 in 2010. Mm -hmm. And, um, I got out a couple months before he did, and he got out a couple months after I, and the relationship just, it was so pure and honest, so sincere, that we just mm -hmm. kept building off each other and motivating each other, so... That's one artist that's off of the um, off the dribble music, which he's walking up now. Um, and then I have Mob Squad Ty, which is my other brother. Um, we all grew up with each other, and he's more of the happy-go-lucky person of us. Um, he created uh -huh. a lot of the energy when we're in the studio creating music. Uh -huh. um, and then I have a brother that's incarcerated right now, Mob Squad Blast TK. Mm -hmm. um, and he's the knucklehead of the group. <laughs> um, and then I have a brother named Just Do It. And he's more of like the behind the scenes of making sure that our mind is right, making sure that we're saying things right and going things the correct way and um, not trying to step on each other's toes and make sure that we're all equal, that don't nobody feel left out or one is bigger than the other or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we're just a, a big brotherhood that formed our life. Now, into a are music they in label. the video as well? Yes, my brother, Gas Greater, is. That's the one that has the long dreadlocks. That's in majority of the video. All right, let me see if I can just pull up the video. To, 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 to. And then you can tell me, tell me the meanings behind some of your music because I'm sitting here and I'm saying to myself, let me hit the share screen. Because the, some of your music, like loyalty. Loyalty became Bobby betrayal. Um, loyalty, if, I've, I've been betrayed by close ones. Um, you know, it's like blood means that you're kin. Loyalty means that you're family. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're not loyal to me, how could you be loyal to yourself? How can I be loyal to you? If you're messing around with people that I don't mess around with, how has you been loyal to me? If mm -hmm. I'm doing things for you and you're not doing vice versa to me, then it's no loyalty. Mm -hmm. So that's how the hook of it came up. And the verse just came like water after. Well, most people don't know that I used to work in the lab at a correctional facility. I ran the lab at a correctional facility in the uh, on the medical on the medical unit, and that's where they would come for their physicals, for their annuals, to get their me medication and you know, for their COVID testing and everything. So mm -hmm. I worked there, I worked there for like a year. So it, 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 I understand, I understand the, the environment and the culture. 
understand the culture. So when you did Frank Franklin Villa, I'm just gonna play a little bit of that. Oh, really? Oh, that's your that's your uh, sponsorship. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, yeah, I try to I try to make sure that I dot all my eyes and cross all my T's, and, um, because yeah. I put a lot of I put a lot of money into you know the music, so it's like I want to make sure that I get everything back and I could build for the future for my children. Um, I can't hear. Let me see. I can't hear you. Say it again. Okay, now I can hear you. You can hear it. Now, no, I can't hear the song. I couldn't hear what you were um saying. Okay, dokie. Okay. Now, with this Franklin Villa, tell me a little bit about that. Franklin Villa is the gated community that I grew up in in South Sacramento. Mm -hmm. um, probably was maybe a 500 units, um, four plexus. Mm -hmm. And it was a bad place to grow up. In. Um, mm -hmm. It was a, a village. It was, if we didn't know you, you couldn't be in there. The mm -hmm. authorities didn't get out the vehicle if it was one officer in the car. Is it? Was it in LA? No, it's in South Sacramento. Um, South Sacramento? Yes, they mm -hmm. changed the name of it from Franklin Villa to Shining, uh, Phoenix Park. Mm -hmm. But so that gave me the creation of it. And I've been betrayed and people that I grew up with tried to take my life and um, people just bringing a bad image to the neighborhood mm -hmm. that we tried to create to stay away from the blood mm -hmm. in Sacramento. So. When I was writing that song, I just was in my feelings about everything. I had been biting my tongue for so long and not saying anything. So I just, I was sitting there one night and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just spill my guts out about how my neighborhood treated me and what nice. I did for them and the outcome that it, it, it gave me in life because it could have <laughs> went good and bad. It went mm -hmm. good and bad, but the good outweighed the bad. Mm -hmm. So, till this day, uh, me and a lot of guys from the neighborhood I grew up in still don't feel it. So, now, when was the last time you were at Franklin Villa? You grew up there. Have you been back to visit? I, to see? I can, Has it changed? I um, have a federal stay away trespass. Okay, 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 okay. So, okay. Listen, listen, no judgment no, for me. No judgment yeah. for me. No judgment, no condemnation. You understand? Yeah. Because I understand the struggle. I grew up in the hood. I know, I know what it's like. Yeah. And plus, plus, like right now, I see that you're not wasting any of your talents, gifts, or abilities. You've tapped in, you you went inward. And you're using your pain, your story, and your uh, journey as a message. Yes. You understand? People change. People change. People can change. If listen, I change. A lot of a lot of people don't know my own story, but people can change. And I think that what you're doing, you should be commended because you have two choices. You could either continue on that cycle, but you chose to break that cycle and to move forward as a black businessman. And you're putting your gifts, talents and energy into your business. And you're, leave, you're trying to leave a legacy for your sons. And you know, how many sons do you have? I have three girls and three sons. Three girls and three boys? Six yes. and three and three, the Brady Bunch. 
Yes. All right now. All right. Hey, even <laughs> even like six. a score. My mom has six, three girls and three boys. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful thing. All right, now do they rap? Are you teaching them the business? Um, they have it in them. They a see little you. Bit. They see you on the hustle. Yes, they like my grandfather. Um, is part of a well. He passed away two years ago. He was part of a, a gospel from Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. Um, and my father has singing vocals. My uncle has singing vocals. I don't, didn't get the good end of singing, but I was able to write for it. Now, you also have the Make-A-Way. Make-A-Way, mm -hmm. tell me about that. Make-A-Way was, I was, me and my wife and my kids was coming out of a hard time. Um, nice. And, you know, we were struggling really bad, and I just wanted to make a way, my own mm -hmm. way, um, without the violence, without um, people judging me and just tell people, you know, that you can do it this way. You can overcome this, you can overcome that. And still also remind people and myself of what my elders, my grandmother and my mother always told me. So it's like, I really wrote that song for my kids that no matter what, you can make a way, you know, no matter what you can overcome it, you can make a way when they say it's not a way you create your own. Much honor and respect. Let me tell you something. God is amazing. When God is ready to restore someone, he doesn't ask anyone's permission. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? He just gives them the ability. What most people would throw away and think has no use. God says, well, let me show you something. I'm going to take what it is that you don't want and you know, like you ever seen, do you know how they make diamonds? Diamond comes the... from coals, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in order to get a diamond, it has to go through so much pressure, just like yes. olive oil, you understand? So yeah. I think like what you're doing right now, is that your this, wife? Excuse is me, that no, your this missus? Is, this is my brother. Gas how you writer. doing, bro? How you doing? Nice. My to wife see you. is not dressed up right now. She don't want to. Welcome to Jennifer's perspective. Is he on the album? Is he on the album as well? Yes, yes, he's he on. Is. He's on. Um, here with us. He's on. About that. He's uh -huh. on. Roll out. Okay. Um, what other ones on there? Real me. What? Real me roll out and wait a minute what is this late night fish what is this the late night feature and then chasing um, the check i like that the, one too the late night features um was a freestyle it was just a late night in the studio it was kind of towards the end of the night and mm. we were feeling ourselves, and we were like no let's just go in here and just <laughs> go off the top of our head and see how it comes out um and it was more like a cypher you know we all kind of just stood in the, in the um, booth together and we were just bobbing and when one stopped the next one came in and yeah how long did it take for you to write the like to finish the album and everything five years in the really i was very picky and precise on what songs i wanted what type of um image i wanted to present this album uh -huh. um so i just kind of took my time and picked and choose and lollygagged around and then i was like you know what procrastination I, yeah i was like yeah. i think i i think i finally have the pieces that i want together well it's a good album it's a really good album and i'm sitting here i was listening to it and my mom was listening to it. She goes like, well, who's that? So I was explaining to her that this is uh, the gentleman that I will be interviewing. She goes, okay. She's not a rap person. <laughs> mm -hmm. But being that my, my dad was a musician and we're musically inclined, she was like, okay. 
Yeah. She gave this, she gave you the nod. She was like, "All right." <laughs> well, tell tell your mom I said thank you. It's would you can't deny good music. You can't deny something good. When you hear it. Um, because I I started out I didn't want to do music. I honestly wanted to just kind of be behind the scenes with my brothers and do the AMR. Really? Yeah, they they're the ones that honestly keep pushing the. So they pushed you to be in front of the camera. Well, yes. you're doing good. You're doing it, good doing your thing. And the lyrics are nice. And your story, when I say your story, I'm like, wow, this is his truth. There's no shame in it. And he's just telling his story, just, just laid it out there. And I'm saying to myself, all right now, this is how rap used to be. Yes. Yes, real hip hop. Like old school hip hop where you can just put your heart into the music. And like, I'm like, ah, oh, this is nice. This is nice. I can relate to this and I can relate to quite a few of the songs on here. And I think most people that, that hears this, they can relate to this because it's a really good, it's a really good album. Really Thank good you. album. Because it brings us back to the, it brings us back to what hip hop was all about when when we was making music back in the day, yeah. and it was it was it was the struggle. It was the all right. This is my life. This is how it is. This is real. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we don't go in with an idea of what we're gonna write. We get in there. We'll listen to a beat and. One of us will start off saying something, and mm. that's what we'll go off of. We'll just let our soul speak, our heart speak when we get in there. Nice. Now, I think there is one other song that it, it was really deep, and that was The No Pain. Yes. Yes. Um, Tell me about that. I just wanted to tell my mom explain to my mother or try to explain to her the things why I did and the pain that I caused. Because yes, this was your apology song. Yes, and I, you know, my father always been in my life, but single household. I put my father back in with my mother, so my mother couldn't control. Um, she couldn't give me the things that I wanted, so me feeling like I should be the man of the house being her only son that I thought I should do this at that point. It was only causing so much pain. Mm -hmm. and it was just, yeah. I said in the dark, I wrote that song, Acapella. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to cry my heart out to her and just let her know that. Is your mom alive? You know, was, yes, yes. Did, did you play it for her? Yes, I did. Um, the first time she heard it was actually at a live book. Really? Yeah. She comes um, to your concerts? She comes to your shows? Well, that was her first show that she came to. Nice. Um, and I had split it in there. It wasn't on my list at first to perform that night. And I was like, well, you know what? My mom is coming. I'm about to slide. It worked out perfect. Oh, my goodness. I like that song. That was your apology song to your mom. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Now, where where are you going to be performing next? Um, right now is kind of hard here. Um, we got restrictions laid back on us here because in, um, of uh, COVID. Hmm? Because, because of COVID. Of, yes, people not wearing their masks, um, just doing crazy things that they know that they shouldn't be doing. So it's kind of hard to book shows right now and then it's almost like a game for going on the second one. Really? So a lot of venues do not want to book hip hop shows. Uh -huh. and so it's really hard to, to get them right now. I just did a show. Um when would I go from the side on it? Um, is it due to March. the pandemic? Is it due to the pandemic? Like are they requiring uh, people to be vaccinated? Um, 
uh, certain places and then some places are just not allowing enough people in. Um. So where the artist can't make their revenue back or the the venue themselves are losing money. Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of up in the air. Um out in the Bay Area, um, they're doing more shows. I did one out there say June, March, somewhere I somewhere right back in there. Um I was working with this guy named Taylor Maid from um Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Um and and he's worked with Lil Wayne. Drake and OVO take off from um, Wiz Khalif, Currency the Hot the Bitter, um, and so forth. Mm-hmm. So um, I've been working with him lately. He helped me book the show out there in, in Vallejo, mm-hmm. California. Um, and we just been touching bases. We're trying to get things lined up. Um, he's trying to get me to go on the tour with him and um, Onyx. Got nice. A, so uh, hopefully by the blessings of God that everything go right and I can go and just share it the world. Like, I, well, I was so keep nervous. Keep my fingers crossed for you. What happened? I, I just was so nervous about releasing the album and just letting people in on my life because I'm so much of a private person. So okay. it's hard for me I, to really I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. But right now... You, you know, your heart, your heart is in the music. Your yes. heart is in the music. So people can relate to that. Mm-hmm. And I think the more exposure that you get, you'll be like, oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. You know, yeah, I understand. It comes with time. I, I never wanted to do it, but like you said, God always got a way to let you help other people even when you don't know it's real well i'm here to support you and i'm here to say well done awesome 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 great job and i think that more people should hear should hear should hear your music and should listen to it so how are you promoting it right now um right now um my wife is my manager slash promoter. Awesome. Um, she have her own business. Um, that's Candy Promotion, uh-huh. and she she do a lot of the, the contact the promoting. I do a little bit myself on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, um, TikTok, word the mouth. I'm um, all about team team. I'm big on team. Um, I'm on Spotify, Apple. Um, Amazon, mm. Andorra, um, the pressure applied. Um, I'm waiting for it to be released on Spotify. September 26th will be the day. 26? That it will be. Yes, it will be streaming awesome. live on all platforms. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Congratulations. Listen, I wish you all the best. Sincerely, sincerely, sincerely. And, you know, God's blessing you. Mm-hmm. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. You and you and your wife stay, you, the both of you stay united. You understand? Yes. You understand? A lot of people don't understand that it's written in the Bible that when two or more agree, you understand when the two of you stand united, you can conquer anything. Yes. You can That's overcome true. anything. You <laughs> understand? And if, if, if this is the partner that God has given you in life, oh my God. Yes, 14 years. 14 nice, years. nice, nice. You too, you too. No matter what happens, like just hold each other down. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yep. Because at the end of the day, we only have each other. Exactly. Exactly. And it's not only that. You're giving such wonderful examples for your children. Because right now, children in minority communities, they need to see the unity. Mm -hmm. They need to see that. They need you to be present. You understand? Mm -hmm. They need to see that. Okay. 
my dad has some challenges and this was his, his old hood or whatever. But still, look at what he's doing now. Look at where he's at now. You understand? You're not, you're letting them know that, all right, it doesn't matter where you start at in life. Amen. Just don't give up on yourself. Yes, yep. And that's how I started off with it. When I came home from prison in 2010, I didn't have my GED high school. Well, I got up every morning and I walked to the adult education. And I walked every day until I got my high school. Just to show them that, you know, even though it's I'm doable. older and I didn't, you can always go back and you can do it and can't nothing stop you when you have your mind. And uh, education is the best thing that you can have in life. And that right now, education is free in certain degrees from K to 12. So you need to pay attention because without education, you're going to be helpless. Awesome. You know what? God is good. My heart just goes out to you right now. My heart's going out to you and to your family because I know what it's like to come from that, that, that hardship mm -hmm. growing up in poverty. And like, I get it. Most people don't know my story. I've been clean now, what, 17 years. And when God took and sent me to the prisons to work, I'm sitting there, I'm like, why? Why did you send me here to work? in the prisons and he goes he has one message is that he loves you unconditionally yes no judgment no condemnation the past is the past but your future he's going to give you beauty for ashes and he's going to restore all those years that the locust and the canker worm have stolen mm -hmm. so you stand united with your family yes and you I guess understand? my motivation for my father, my father was an alcoholic for almost 20 years. Um, mm -hmm. And he didn't get clean until he was almost like 42. Mm -hmm. And that was 2005. Um, mm -hmm. And he'd been clean ever since he went and got his master's. He mm -hmm. got his, um, and psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Awesome. And he's working in the field that he overcame drug and alcohol. Isn't that something? Isn't that yeah. something? And he's helping other people to break that cycle. And what mm -hmm. you're doing with your music, you're letting the young people know and the, you're letting the millennials know, not only millennials, but Whoever listens to your music, like, don't give up on yourself. As long as you have breath. Yep. You have as long as you have breath, as long as you have life, anything that you lose in life, God can always replace it. But as long as you're alive, you can get those things back. And you also know what's important. Your family is important. Your music is important. The business is important. What you're doing for your sons and for your, for your children, for your daughters, even for your daughters to see is important. So the cycle is, is being broken one person at a time. Yep. Yep. And that's all it takes is just to show. You don't have to have money and be rich to show and show your kids a different. You just have to leave yes. by to stand up and be honest and take responsibility and accountability for all your actions and treat yes. others you want to be treated. So, yeah. and, and I've been doing, me and my wife been doing a damn good job of it. We got a 19 year old graduated from high school. Mm -hmm. um, she's working. We have a, one that'll be 18 in November, which I'm blessed because we share the same birthday. Um, Okie dokie. So we Happy have two. Birthday. Yes, we have two that's almost, well, two that's grown and, you know, kind of on their own. And we have a 13 year old, a 10 year old, and seven, and a one year old. 
So how are you doing with the community? How are you doing in the community? Are um, they supporting you? Are you are you putting on shows for the community or? Um, I haven't done a free show for the community in a while. Um, it's hard and stuff you know, to even get ahead and with the music if you're not politically involved or. That's all right. God's opening doors for yeah. you. God's opening doors. God's yeah. opening doors. And, and and that's that's why I named the album Pressure Up Block because it's like no matter what someone out that I don't know is supporting that you have, I'm making you have a way. Such a humble personality. I think, I've been through so I, I much. Think, I think that you should connect with the local city council and you know, be part of the community, get on some boards and, you know, register your company with the Chamber of Commerce and start networking at a different level. You understand? Yeah, that's, that's my goal. Um, now listen, I volunteer, I volunteer with my dad. They're a nonprofit organization. Show. Listen, you and your wife own a business. Whatever money you have, take that money go to your local chamber of commerce in your city. This is how the door is going to open for you. Okay. All right. Listen to me and do exactly what I tell you to do. Sign up for the local chamber of commerce, register your company within that city. Then you would be recognized as a legitimate business and you're not just hustling, you understand? You're gonna start networking with business owners and people that own businesses within your city. Okay. Okay, you mm -hmm. can also attend their events. They can attend your events, they can sponsor you, you can sponsor them, you understand? But this is how the door is going to open for you. Okay. You understand whatever the membership mm -hmm. fee is, if it's like 190 something dollars for the year, then look at their calendar and start attending their events. You don't have to do anything, just show up. Mm -hmm. You understand? Show up, be present, and start That's networking. Cool. Start networking, okay? Because now you're not just networking with the people that you grew up with or the, or your or the people that you're hanging out with mm -hmm. you you're going to the next level you understand you're leveling up right and you're going to start networking with business owners you understand if god is restoring you you can't be ashamed right i am the i am the shame resistance and the no shame coach mm -hmm. you understand and you sit there and you talk to them. They're people just like you. They're people just like me. You understand? And find out what it is that they're doing. Attend their events. Sit there. Listen to them. Talk Talk to them. How do you think Jay-Z, when he sat down with Warren Buffett, they come in from two different, two different spectrums, but he registered, got legal, you understand? Started mm -hmm. networking and just sit there and listen to them, how they do business, what it is that they're doing. And eventually you will pick up and learn to apply these things, these, this information that you're learning to your business. Okay. You understand? Because then the city of Sacramento won't be so hard for you. You understand? Yeah. Join the committee, start getting involved. This is the thing with the George Floyd incident. How are we going to, to, to sit down with each other if we're always one's on one side and one's on the other side? You understand? Mm -hmm. You've paid, you, 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 you've already paid your dues. Now this is the restoration part. And when I had to learn, I had to learn social skills and all kind of stuff. It took me a long time, but I can sit down at the table with the best of them, whoever it is that runs the company. I'm welcome at that table. Why? Because before I didn't know anything, I just sat there and listened. 
I, mm -hmm. I, and every time they saw my face, they was like, oh, hi, Jennifer, hi, Jennifer, hi, Jennifer, hi, Jennifer, until I felt confident enough to where I could interact with people. And that is the thing that we have to put our pride aside. If we're ever gonna break the cycle and learn and get the information that we need, we have to be present. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. That's like, I needed that, like that motivation there. And that- You understand? And, and if God's got his hand on you and he wants you to do something, your city is not hard. You just need information. And the first place for you to start is register your company, the mob squad shooters, or and register your wife's company as two separate entities, okay? And you mm -hmm. and her are gonna start going to events, networking events within your city. This way your city will open up to you. But no one had never gave me that information. I knew nothing about that. I'm a member of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the Hackensack Chamber of Commerce, the Pocono Chamber of Commerce, and the Atlanta Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm going I'm to have my wife um, look into it and start. Look into it. Thing. Just, just, just Google the Chamber of Commerce within your city, whatever town or city that you that you live in, and mm -hmm. find out how much the membership fee is. It can't be no more than like like a couple hundred dollars, right? Sign up. It's a membership ship fee for the year. They have dinners. They have golf tournaments. They operate at a totally different level. And as long as you're a member. Show up. They have dinners, they have luncheons, they have events, they meet at breweries, they meet at, at where, whatever businesses that they have, and just sit down there and get to know the people in the business community. This way you can get sponsorship. They go, ah, oh, Johnny, he's a cool dude. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's a cool dude. Blah, 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 blah. And this is how you start by communicating with each other is getting to know each other. I've sat down with the chairman of every chamber of commerce that, I've, that I'm a member of. We sit down, we talk for an hour, hour and a half, just getting to know each other and finding out what it is. And then I signed up and I'm on several committees. You understand? Mm -hmm. would they have certain events within your city or they're planning certain events and this way you don't have to say oh my god I can't do this and I can't do that you just need information and this is the first step to mm -hmm. open up Sacramento to you thank you and I appreciate the information that you just gave me um, it could be a whole life changing yeah, this, like i don't know how big your state is and i don't know what's going on within your city but if the businesses are members there have their own little social circle and this is how you enter in because you are an official member we do sacramento is the Mm -hmm. so, and they have they have businesses they have all types of businesses yeah. it may not be the music industry you understand yeah. but right now you want to have a presence and a positive presence within your own city yeah and so consistency and look what so, um, that that's the same thing nipsey did when nipsey nipsey hustle he opened up his own business and he registered his business with the city. Yeah, he did. He bought a whole you understand? Process. So you have to start somewhere and don't and don't don't be fearful. It's just like you were walking to get your GD. It's mm -hmm. just another step. Yep. It's just another step. And this is to grow your business. We're gonna, you know, polish up your image a little, not too much. 
<laughs> you understand? But now you're going to be networking with people that can sponsor you. Okay. I have tuxedos and suits and stuff. You're I handsome, see. man. You're a handsome, yeah. man. You clean up well. I can see that. I, I, yeah, I can definitely I see that. that. They can yeah. see that, too. Yeah. You understand? And just start start attending the events. If they have a business networking event for something, just start attending. When you first, it's like going to school. When you first mm -hmm. go to class, what do you do? You sit down, you take notes, and you pay attention to what's going on around you. And then, you know, eventually, 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 I spoke at the Women in Business Luncheon at my local chamber of commerce. And I mean, they're an ama people are amazing. People will surprise you because people are really nicer than you think. Yes. And I have since I've been dropping my videos um, this year and my music and I have been getting surprises um, mm -hmm. from doors that's been opened that I never knew that was there. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think that's my only advice to you right now. What you can do is come back as a guest mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and say, say, Jen, this is what's going on. This is an update. And I'll be, I'll be keeping it. I'll be following you and keeping an eye out. You understand? Mm -hmm. To see how your career is progressing and what's going on. And next time, Bring the missus so I can interview the both of you. No problem. No problem. All right. She's running around. She's running around with all the kids right now. So she's all right then. In her mother mode. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck with the music. Good luck with the new album. And I'll be following you and uh sign up with the Chamber of Commerce. All right. I will. And thank you. And I appreciate you welcome. and giving me information to better my future and my business. You're welcome. And You're welcome. I want to see you succeed. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, then. Okay. You have a nice evening. <laughs> You too, you too. And uh, I'll listen to the album and I'll share it with some friends and you get to work now. Yep. No procrastinating. I, I actually, no procrastinating yeah. on this one. You have yeah. the information. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go and get on. I got my laptop, desktop sitting outside mm -hmm. and um, sit out here and I'm gonna, me and my brother is going to sit back and vibe and I'm gonna look at the information you just gave me and, mm -hmm. and then and and and, and, and then you know and listen and then sh and then just be present be present mm -hmm. at my at my chamber I think I was the only black face there mm -hmm. but I had to promote my business I had to learn how to network and you know have to learn how to adapt to your environment mm -hmm. and, and be yeah. cordial and, and and you have such a pleasant personality you're mm -hmm. real humble you're real humble so listen they they won't they would be so glad to have you sitting there at the table talking to them and sharing information and then they have they have luncheons and dinners and and fundraisers and all that other kind of stuff. And all you have to do is just be present, be present. And then the shift, the shift will happen. And I'm, I'm right. gonna do it. And I'll stay in touch with you, I'll come back. Listen, they soon. kids buy your albums too. <laughs> come on now, yes. hello? Yes. So, yep. so go meet the parents. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. All righty. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. All right, then. Okay, it was have nice a good speaking to you. You too. You have too. a good day. One love Bye -bye. now. <laughs> yes. Bye.
します。